What's up, United family? United Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. How are you beautiful people doing? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic day and are excited to dive into a brand new episode. We are looking beautiful here with our brand new Tetsukabra armor. No longer that horrible defense. I highly recommend you get this man's armor, especially if you're new to the game. It is really, really good, and it only took me two hunts. So if you get lucky, it should only take two or three hunts, and you you can have his entire armor but we are back at it again and now i am rocking the hammer because today we are hunting a very classic monster since the beginning of time of monster hunter named the yin kutku and he can really get some damage off on him with a hammer but if you guys are enjoying this series you know what to do go ahead and show that united family love and smash that like button let's try to keep hitting 200 likes for every single episode thank you guys so much for your support now I have a couple of things to talk about, but before we do that, I want to show off, you know, eating with your cat here to get a little stamina boost, health boost, or both. I mainly go with health because, I mean, you can always just use some rations or some well-done steaks to get your stamina up. And here you have certain abilities that you can get or skills. Uh, you can read those and pretty self-explanatory. Some of them are really interesting, like Game Changer, where you can have a random new big monster come inside your quest and really mess things up, but it's really exciting. I'm not really going to worry about it. Make it easier to mount monsters. Sure, we'll do that. We're finding a Yin Kudku, which is not really known for difficulty, so we're going to be just fine. But yeah, really cool thing. If you're new to the franchise, highly recommend you eat with your cat every single time you go on a hunt, which I mean, if you're not new to the game, I'm sure you already know. <laughs> you already know to go eat and get all your buffs and be ready to go. But I'm sorry I didn't have a video out Monday. Your boy was sick all weekend and got behind on videos. But that being said, I had so much fun streaming with you guys Saturday and just playing Monster Hunter. Like, if you missed it, don't worry. We're going to do more. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at United Hay so you don't miss it whenever we go live. We didn't really get that far. We uh, just got the second... Well, we got the HR2 uh, urgent quest for Blanganga. That is all we did. Um, so nothing really that major. But still, like, that's what Monster Hunter is all about. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing this walkthrough and just sitting here and telling you, like, how much I love the game pretty much every episode and a few tips here and there. But what Monster Hunter is literally all about is the experience of multiplayer and playing with friends and viewers in this sense. But, yeah, it's, it's honestly going to be so fun hunting with you guys, especially when my life slows down a little bit. And I don't have 80 series going on at once, and I can actually, you know, stream every other night and go on hunts with you guys. I really cannot wait to do that. And here with the Yenkudku, I have no idea what zone he starts in. I was kind of hoping this was the Forest and Hills, which it was inside the Gathering Hall or Gathering Hub or whatever you want to call it in this game. I'm too used to calling it the Online Gathering Hall. That's what it's been for me for so many years. And I never broke it whenever it changed in newer Monster Hunter games. Which I don't even know when it officially changed. <sighs> Classic man right here. Yin Kutku. I don't even know if that's how you say his name. I'm probably saying it's probably wrong. Probably like Kutku or something. I have, I have no idea. This is just what I've called him since I was a little kid. Get that head spike immediately. Now, if you are using a dual kind of weapon like hammer or whatever, I just recommend you just well on that head and you will do immense damage. You can charge up and hit him that way. You get the days off and it's just going to do a ton of damage on this man. We'll see if we can have a good hunt here as this is the first time that I've used a hammer in this series. And I haven't used one in a long time. I wish you would just stay still for a second. That'd be great. Because sometimes he'll just, like, sit there and ponder on his thoughts, you know. I'm wondering, am I, am I doing the right thing by attacking this hunter? <laughs> I don't know why monsters ever do that. They just literally sit there and just chill. Oh, I thought he was coming for me, but he came for my cat. That's unfortunate. There we go. It's okay. I'll take a free hit. Whenever you see that little, like, crit hit, that means basically we're doing some damage to his face and we can get a daze off. Plus, we would like to break his face or his ear so we can get a uh, Kutku ear, which could be sold for a lot or used for certain weapons and armors. All right, come on, buddy. I'm gonna need. I don't know why I just charged up on that. That was un that was stupid. And I didn't change my skill for a hammer like a moron. So <laughs> excuse that. Make sure you do that every time you switch weapons. Okay, come on. Just turn around. See if I can time it right. Nope, he's not coming for me. But he still got hurt. All right. Come on, just sit there for a second, Kudku. I literally just talked about how you'll sit here and ponder on your thoughts. That's what I need you to do right now, buddy. And stop attacking. Why would he throw a? F See, he does it now when I'm literally yeeted across the screen. No, 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 no. I'm not going to get any hits off. 
I actually am fine if my cats are dead in this one. I want him to focus on me so I can well more hits on him and it doesn't take so long. Because I'm not having the best fight yet, but he's in, even as now, like you can see, he does literally nothing to us. I'm just going to get the free hits. I don't care if he hits me at this point. I don't even think he's going to do that much damage in rage mode. That's why I recommend getting Tetsu Cobra armor in the very beginning. All right, come on. Now turn around. I should be able to get close enough. Okay, come turn right at me. There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's the money shot right there. I still haven't gotten the days off on him. Is he leaving? Are you serious? Your boy is never going to learn with paintballs. Oh, wait. Oh, that's from our that's from our gathering hall hunt. I made shock traps with uh, thunderbugs and a trap tool. If you ever want to do that, if you get thunderbugs, if you get a trap tool and thunderbugs, it's a... Uh, one trap tool and two thunderbugs, I believe, and it makes um, or maybe it's just one and one. I don't even remember in this game. I can you can I can check in my combo list, but that makes a portable shock or a shock trap, so you can actually uh, I'll, I'll use one in this little fight here, so you can see what it does. It just shocks the monster and you know keeps them there for a second, which actually will be really beneficial for us. You know what? Let's go ahead and show it off now. Yeah, of course, you're gonna come for me. That's fine. You're gonna turn around. There you go. Now, okay. Let me lay this. Attack the kitties for a second. Don't turn around immediately. Seriously. There we go. Okay, so that's all it literally does. But now, this gives me free time to just destroy his face. And there we got the daze too. So perfect use there. Definitely very useful. And we broke his ears as well. Now, Akanku has an extra little tip whenever he is weak and about to die. His ears will lower back, which obviously hasn't happened yet. He's about to go into rage mode. But he's getting just a beat down right now, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. No, oh, God, are you serious? <laughs> I'm never going to learn. But at least you can see. Learn from my literal mistakes. But you can just, like I did last time, just watch his shadow and see where he goes if you didn't lay the paintball. So he's going this way. You can kind of just watch it. So he's probably going to four. <sighs> I'm a moron. Just don't, don't. I'm too eager and too greedy with my hits and everything to forget the simplest things of Monster Hunter, like paintballs and whatnot. But yeah. Uh, shock traps and uh, pitfall traps and stuff like that are amazing in Monster Hunter. Even my cats can lay them at times, which is really useful. And it's a poison shock trap too, which is really awesome, where it poisons them, not only just, you know, traps them for a few seconds. Alright, here we are. Oh, he's fatigued! That's fine, drinking some water. Alright, well that's fine, because look, now I can get this. Or maybe he's not fatigued, maybe I was just seeing the smoke off his breath from him being pissed off at us. It's not gonna stay for a second. All right, come on. Charge real quick. Nope. Turn at me, turn at me, turn at me. Got it, okay, that's fine, I got the hit. Oh, ho, ho. thank you, Kodiku. Thank you so much, buddy. I'm gonna get the triple. Oh no, if you wouldn't have flinched, I would've got the triple. He has to be fatigued soon, and I have no idea how that didn't hit me. Is he leaving? Or is he just charging? Okay, he's not leaving. Okay, sweet. Oh, I missed. Turn my way, turn my way. No, not my cat! See, like, at this point, I would actually rather him not go for my cat. One of the very few monsters where I'd rather him just be focused on me the entire time. There we go. We got the mount off. And now I should be able to daze him again. Alright, for mounting, like I said, whenever he goes crazy and it's red, just hold R, then it's gonna be green. You can pretty much get used to it, and then you just attack. That's really all you do, and you want the meter to fully fill up. Right, right now, I'm not even gonna hold on. I'm gonna be able to finish him. Alright, now I should be able to get a daze off onto him. God, that's so that sucks. I missed that triple hit. Come on, am I seriously not gonna get it? There we go. Now his ear should- Yes, okay, he's almost dead. Alright, see, hammers are amazing if you can get this little rhythm on him, which I just missed major hits, so that's unfortunate, but... Obviously gonna be close to death soon. I didn't even, like, see him go into fatigue, like, at all. But yeah, that's the Yinkutku. Pretty easy fight. And now, how we're going to be doing the series now is literally just kind of one monster per episode just to show it off. They're shorter episodes, but whenever someone's looking for a, I don't know who it really, maybe a new person, be looking up for a Yinkutku guide. 
Okay, as you can tell, hammers can do a lot of damage if you learn, but obviously you don't have blocking. Um, so, you know, it's a risk, but high risk, high reward. Well, no, I wouldn't say high risk. Not for him. Maybe for, like, Rathalos that I like hunting with hammers. That could be kind of a high risk, I guess. Which, I don't even, I don't really like hunting Rathalos in the newer generations of Monster Hunter. Not a big fan of him, because he just stays in the air. In the older Monster Hunters, no. He would literally, he would fight you on the ground, kind of like Ian Kudku's doing right now. I don't ever freaking lock onto monsters in this game, it seems like. Which, it hasn't really hurt me yet. Okay, let's just get the free hits. I'm not even going to worry about his head right now. He's he's so close to death. Come on! Are you serious right now? Okay, sweet. That's fine. Oh, he looks like he's fatigued. And there you have it. G freaking G. Did I heal? I did heal once, I guess, if I have nine potions. All right, I healed one time, which I don't know why I didn't use a first aid, but it's not a big deal. There's the Nkutku. Pretty freaking easy fight. Um, I don't really ever get any... I mean, his weapons are fire attacks. Um, so you can get, I just remember the, the dual Kalku, like, heads. I can't remember their names. Um, but other than that, I really don't get a lot of his stuff. Um, but I, I, it's actually a pretty good monster to hunt in the beginning if you get used to him to sell. Because you can get the Kutku ears, and that sells for, like, a thousand. So if you want some money, he's a pretty fun monster to hunt. You know, pretty chill, pretty relaxing, and you can get some nice, uh, materials. So I'm not really gonna show off the reward you're gonna get. I'm just gonna get like webbings and scales and uh, maybe an ear because I broke his face so I think I'll get an ear. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. In the next episode of Friday, we should be able to get it up. I'm either gonna fight Damo Hermitar. Uh, probably gonna fight Damo because we haven't, I haven't even hunted him yet. I don't think in this. No, I haven't. I don't think me and Brooks hunted him during the stream, but yeah, I haven't hunted him yet, so he's a pretty classic monster as well from Monster Hunter Freedom 2, and I guess since we're at the ending, we might as well see what my reward is, and I, I actually might just not get any of it and just sell it all so I can have some money for weapons and upgrades. Pretty good, let's see, shale, okay, I'll grab a flame sack, I'll, I, I'll definitely I'll need that, medium monster bone, glad I'll take that, more medium monster bone, aqua jewel can be useful, and the ear, okay, I'm gonna sell everything else. Only gave me 3,000, which is unfortunate. Wrong. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. What did I just replace? Okay, antidotes. Chill. We're in fact. Okay, he got me a cut kiss Yo, thank you, Jenkins. Old oh, man Jenkins out here. Thank you, my man. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. As always, everybody, this is not just a channel, it is a family, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out.